I charged this yesterday to a full charge. I went to take my blood sugar this morning and it's dead. Don't ask me why. Two, my I went for my blood work and my A1C is still 7.4, which is what it was in January. So, hasn't improved any. Okay. Three, for those of you who haven't known or haven't gone and checked yet, I had an experience last night with the spirit in the house named Mike, and we posted something, so go check out the PIN channel. Still having pains from that, and I'm still tired, and I'm hungry, and I'm grumpy. Yeah. Are you grumpy, too? Or are you just talking? He wants to go outside. You cannot go outside. I'm sorry. I'm too afraid to give you the opportunity because if you go outside, you might not come back. And I, I, I don't want you to disappear. Yeah, sit up there and make muffins. Okay, now you can say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I'm going to destroy things today. That's my... Intent. I'm going to tear up the carpet in the dining area, prepare that floor for tile. I didn't know you were going to do the dining area. I thought you were going to do the stairs. No, dining area. Oh. Can you do the stairs too? If I have time. Okay. There's not much left of that box. <laughs> Hey, get out! Box. Get out all your aggressions there, Boomy. It's his box. He can do what he wants with it. <laughs> Is that it? Is that edible? Make sure. We'll make sure you eat it before I eat it. I did dish them out separately. <laughs> oh, add, make sure you add that salt. I did. I'd love to check your blood pressure sometimes. My blood pressure is fine. So you say. Mm. I'm in good health, I just lose parts. <laughs> okay, so I've cleared the dining room floor. I just gotta pull up my my round rug here. Really like this rug. Um, as you can see, the carpet is becoming a problem with these lovely animals. Uh, one of them peed on the floor. I think it's Freckles who pees in the middle of the floor. This one here likes to pee in corners and on uh, people's clothes. So, the less carpet in this house, I think the better off we are. So, I definitely want to put tile in here. Uh, going to keep the area rug for under the dining room table. And uh, with the tile that I'm looking at, it'll really lighten this room up quite a bit. We have the dark cabinets and I had anticipated of getting some nice uh, lighter colors to do backsplash and floor. So, looking forward to that. Um, Val is going to go with me. I'm going to show her some of the tile that uh, Mom and I looked at. And uh, we're not going to buy anything yet, but uh, I really want her to see it. I want her to be involved in the choice. So um, take a look at what we're going to do. So since we're going to go do that, I'm not going to tear it up quite yet. It should be a quick and easy thing to do. 
What? what did you do to my dining room? Yeah, you haven't seen nothing yet. Where's my furniture? I sold it all. What are we supposed to eat on? We never eat in there. We do once in a while. Once in a while. When we have Angie and Jay over. Well, I'm taking the carpet up. Well, I know that. But well, what'd you do with my furniture? Oh, they're in other okay. rooms. Here's my table and chairs. So I managed. There's my carpet. To convince Val <laughs> to get out of the house so she can see her shadow again. I'm sorry, but I'm stressed out. I know you're stressed out, and this is the best thing for you to get out of the house. So Our, we're gonna. I'm gonna have her look at some tile. Give her some idea of what I'm thinking of doing. Can we look at black, black, back, black, backsplash? Yeah. Yes, I. We can. That's what I was gonna say. So, this is what daylight looks like. I don't like daylight. It's all nice and sunny. No. It's, it's all pretty. It's hot. Look at that's pretty. That's smog. That's, not that's smog. smog that's all up there on, by those mountains. That's a little that's, bit of hay. It's that's smog. smog. It's a little, little that's smog. Moist out, so we got haze against the mountain. No, it's smog. It is not smog. Smog. <coughs> <coughs> I can't breathe. <coughs> all that smog. Yeah. <laughs> So this says it's Dalmatian Walnut Travertine. And that's the color. It's a little darker than what we have, but it looks like we have a lot of uh, variation. But that's fine because it's, you know, Travertine. We expect differences. These are 18 by 18s. Actually be easier for me to set because then, um, we got, we'll have to set less of them. Cutting is a little problem worry for, for me because I got a little tiny saw and so I got to be uh, uh, clever to cut it because if I need a, a 10 inch piece I've only got 9 inches surface to cut on so I'm going to have to cut on the uh, waist side instead of on the, the tile side. So we are leaving the tile store and we picked out some stuff for the floor and for the backsplash and found out how much we're going to need and all that lovely stuff. So Kevin will have to go back with mom because mom is going to buy it all for us. The carpet goes into the front room so uh, I want to basically cut it right at the, the threshold here into the room. So I got myself a nice straight board and I'm just going to cut right through the carpet and it just pulled us all up in a single piece and uh, throw it into the back where all the other carpet stuff is from the last renovation. And hopefully sometime this week I can take it all to the dump so I don't have to pay for a dumpster. Sounds good. Okay. Ow, you cut me. I'm bleeding. Are you trying to make me hurt myself? <laughs> <laughs> it just seems so weird walking through here now. It's all like no floor. <laughs> and poor Mojo, she's been sharpening her nails on the carpet over here since she started coming downstairs. And it was all torn up, and we let her do it because we know we were going to be tearing the carpet up. But now she has no place to sharpen her nails on. Hello, everybody. Hello. It is time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts. Everybody was saying how much they like my shirt. I wear it often in shoutouts because these are my lounging around the house clothes. Her PJs. Well, no, I don't even sleep in these. I change into a night shirt when I go to sleep. They're so, PJs. They, they are not. I lounge around the house in these. They are PJs, but I don't sleep in them. All right. I change into my nightgown when I go to sleep because I hate wearing pants when I go to sleep. So, 
TMI, I know. But anyway, thank you everybody that says they love my shirt because I do love sleep, although I get lack of it. Very often, lack of it. Anyway, time for shout outs! Yeah. We got um, first Arian. Yeah. Arian Michael, welcome to the neighborhood. Um, you're going to have to help me with these two, okay? We're doing this one first. Sweetheart81067, happy 26th birthday to you. And you've got to yell this one with me. Thank okay? You. Yes. And, and. Okay. All right. Mom's Vlog 80, Melody, happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Yes, you had to. Right. Okay. We're not going to ask how old you are. <laughs> Unless you're like Val, 29 and holding. <laughs> I think she's younger than that. She looks younger than that anyway. But. Anyway, so that's all the shout-outs I have, but my question from yesterday was, if you could create a holiday, what would you create and why? And we had some very interesting answers. We had a lot of people creating holidays because of family and, and uh, illnesses mm -hmm. and their pets. They wanted to celebrate Cat and Dog Day and stuff like this. But... Two very interesting ones was, I Love My Singing Monsters wants to create a neighborhood day where everyone throws block parties. I can get down with that. You know, as long as I didn't have to do anything. <laughs> no cooking, no nothing. Celebrate it. Let's go. Let's have a party. Woo -woo. <laughs> and my favorite, and I think there would be a lot of people on board with this one, would be Boomer Holiday, where everybody worships Boomer. <laughs> what do you think? You want to be worshipped for a day? Everybody will bring you salmon and, 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 and tuna. He doesn't like those things. All right, whatever you do like. Everybody would bring you everything your heart desires. And today my question is, BAM! You wake up in the morning. What is the very first thing that pops into your mind? Very first thing. Did I scare you? Wait, I usually wake up in the middle of the night with her falling <laughs> out of bed or something. I'm sorry if I scared any of you and if I broke your eardrums, but I thought that was the best way to get your attention. So, very first thing in the morning when you first open your eyes, what do you think about? Going back to bed. <laughs> Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Oh, yeah, that's me. That's you with your little pink book. It's so masculine. I could make a pink book look masculine. See? <laughs> All right. You want a pipe or something? The question was about um, the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Where was the uh, Frankenfurter uh, Castle? Well, it was actually uh, the Oakley Court. It's called Oakley Court. It's in Berkshire, England. It was built in 1859. Uh, I remember Richard O'Brien once saying that he bought it right after they made the movie, but my research just recently had no mention of that. I do know it was uh, restored in 1981 and it turned into a hotel. So I mentioned about um, people going to the midnight showings of Rocky Horror Picture Show. And um, I only had one person who said they actually went to that, and that was Van B.S. Yeah, and she said she doesn't remember wearing anything or bringing any props or anything like that. So, <laughs> I personally have gone. Kevin has gone. Megan has yet to go, but she, we have friends that want to take her to one. And I highly recommend, if you haven't gone and you have the chance to go, go. It is amazing. And some of the props they bring is hot dogs because of Frankenfooter, balloons because when he's... Uh, the song Touch Me. And, you know, it makes the noise. <laughs> um, newspapers for the rain scenes. For, yeah, that was a light. 
the lighter for the song. The squirt gun. The squirt gun for the rain scenes. So, but yeah, and, and people used to throw the hot dogs and, and rice. And ri rice. I don't remember Newspapers. what the rice was for. And, and toast. Yeah, so, I really do I highly recommend if you ever get a chance to go, go see it because it is awesome. You don't get to see much of the movie. You don't, or you don't get to hear much of it because the people in the audience never shut up. Yeah. So, and if it's a good, if it's a really good crowd, they'll show up uh, in costume. And they'll probably uh, do all the dance scenes. Yeah. The new, new uh, question. Yes. Simple one. Rocky Horror Picture Show had a sequel. But you didn't know that. I didn't know that. Um, so what was the sequel? Anyway, there you have it. There's your question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community. Each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all so very much. Thumbs up. Make sure to go by and check out all our other fun channels. Thank you all for following along with us. Thumbs up. And we will see you all tomorrow.